Hello and welcome to another Make and Play Paper Instruments episode. Today we're going to make and play a paper slide whistle. But before we get it started, I want to give a quick little advertisement here as we're now selling these t-shirts online. This one and this one here. Get those at albergii.com. Now back to our show. All right, what you're going to need for today's project is tape. I've got scotch tape here. Uh, pretty much any type of tape should work. Scissors and at least three sheets of pretty good quality paper. Uh, the paper I'm using is photo paper. I can't emphasize in these make and play paper instrument videos how important it is that you have decent quality paper. It really makes a difference between sometimes between it working and not working. So first of all, you want to take two sheets of paper and make sure they're all nicely together. I'm just going to pull this one out of the way, lay it flat, and we're going to roll it on the long side Fairly tight, but not too tight. Maybe uh, so your opening is just a little bigger than a quarter, maybe about the size of a 50 cent piece if you've ever seen one. Something right around there should be good. And then right on your seam here, apply some tape so it stays rolled. All right, now from here, we're basically going to start by making a paper flute from the Make and Play a Paper Flute video. So the procedure is going to be the same. I'll try to give a little more detail here for anybody who had trouble with that. So take your scissors and we need to find a spot away from the seam. We've got a seam right here where we put our tape and there's a seam on the inside where the paper ends. You can see that there. My scissors under it. There's that seam right there. We want to try and stay away from those. So that's there and that's there. So I'm going to put my hole about right here about an inch or so away from the edge of the paper. And we're going to bend it a little bit here so we can get our scissors in with my fingers so I don't cut them. And we're going to cut in maybe about a centimeter. You don't want to go too far. One of the prime reasons for these not working is making too big of a hole. And then let's show you that where that cut was. And then about a centimeter and a half lower. Put that up there. Say about, I'm going to go about right here. I'm going to put another cut just like that one. And then we're going to flatten this back out so our cylinder is back. And it looks like that. Can you see it? Can you? I don't see it on the camera. Oh, there it is. Okay. And now we need to get our scissors into that cut. So we're going to go right where the cut was and poke the scissors into it. Turn them so that we can cut right down the line and connect the two slits separating the paper. I didn't quite get all of it. I got a layer here that held on get into it. I can't get into it. <laughs> That's not a cut all the way through to start with. All right, sometimes that happens. You see, I still got a layer there. So now I'm going to, I got under that layer, I'm going to cut it out. And now we have a hole. Next thing we're going to do is cut this tab sticking out off. So we're just going to snip it right off. So it's in my hands and we'll put it down on the desk. So now we have a rectangular hole like that. And again, don't, if your hole comes out really big, you need to start over. Don't make your hole too big. That right there is probably about the perfect size. And the next step is the trickiest, but it is the key to making this work. We need to get into the tube here on the side where the hole is and actually get under the layers. And we're going to pull them down. We'll use our scissors to do that. We actually got to separate the layers. It's a bit tricky. A little trouble, yeah. So the scissors are actually inside between two layers of paper there. And we're just going to pull that down at an angle so it leads upwards towards the hole. I gotta see what I'm doing. <laughs> right, and then we're going to pinch it like that so that we get something like that. That's what the inside should look like. That's your passage that's going to carry the air up to your hole. Just going to adjust a little bit here so it's not quite symmetrical. And we want to emphasize the crease here. Now that looks better. Again, looking like that. This is where you're going to blow to make the sound. If these are, this is, we're pretending this is your mouth. Your bottom lip will go under the little flap there, and your top lip will go on top. And you'll blow into that little hole right there. You're not blowing here. You don't stick the whole thing in your mouth. You just stick this part on your bottom lip and top lip like so. Now, it probably won't work yet, but we'll test it. Almost made a sound, but not quite. What uh, we need to do is we need to actually put the scissors in through here. My desk is lighting. <laughs> right. 
and we need to use the scissors going through to actually separate the layers here on the other side of the hole. As when we made that cut, we kind of squished those layers together. So for us to make a sound, they need to be separated. So putting through the whole side hole here and actually pulling out, let me use the sharper side of the scissors, actually separating out the layers here. Well, I don't know how well you can see that, but see, so my scissors are in between the layers all the way through here. And I'm going to do it for each layer that I see. And I have three layers here. Now we're just going to separate those out. Now let's see if we get a sound. It's almost there. Um, with these, there's always the need to experiment a little, tweak them, and reposition things. I'm going to rebend this a little bit in order to get it to work. It, it takes some trial and error. As you can see, even for me, they don't always work the first time. This one's almost there. I'm just going to do a little bending and readjusting. Yeah, this one's working now. Again, I know you can't see my mouth on here. So again, this is, this is your mouth. Bottom lip inside the hole a little. Under the little triangle we pulled down, the little bend. And top lip on top. And blow that way, not into the whole tube. So this one's working now. Um, make sure you have it working before you go on as that will be important. Otherwise, the next step won't matter. So again, things to make to get working, make sure that bend is good. Make sure it's centered all the way up to the hole. Get a good look at that. And make sure you pull the scissors through and separate the layers on this side of the hole so the air can flow through the paper. Now we're ready for the next step. So right now what we have is our paper flute from the Make and Play a Paper Flute video. To make into a slide whistle, we need our third sheet of paper. And this time we're going to roll across the short end. Let me get these little cuts out of the way. And we're going to roll it across the bottom part of our flute so our hole is sticking out. And we want to roll it as, pretty much as tightly as we can across the body of the flute. Try to keep the paper straight the whole time you keep the edges together the whole time you roll here. So this is going to be rolled very carefully. Yeah, come on. It's staying as straight as I would like it. But... Alright, so we've just rolled the short paper onto the long paper. Now, tape. Now make sure you don't tape it to the flute. You just want to tape it to itself, the short piece of paper across its seam, because we need it to be able to slide. Alright, so, hey, now, grab from the bottom here. Kind of hold it here. Um, make sure you're not too close to the hole, because if you're up here, you will keep the sound from working. But just grab it maybe a couple inches down, loosely. You don't want to crush the paper. You can grab the slide by the bottom and slide it back and forth. You want to try to avoid that. Try to avoid coming off, because it can be hard to get it back in. Depending on how hard you blow, you may be able to get different sounds. Um, this I've discovered I can get a low sound. Or if you blow harder, get a high sound more like a flute. This one seems to work really well on the high and not so well on the low. And that is your paper slide whistle. Enjoy!